Obviously, there are some budget cuts possible in Midway, Georgia. Police in Midway, Georgia shut down a lemon stand run by three little girls trying to make money for a trip to a water park in Savannah, Georgia, because the youngsters didn't have the license and permits required for their fledgling enterprise. City ordinances require a business license, a peddler's permit, and a food permit for the vending of food or beverages, even on residential property in the small city, population of 1,100, just south of Savannah. The license and permits cost $50 a day or $180 a year. So the girls shut down their stand and are doing yard work and other chores to make money. They told us to shut it down, 10-year-old Skylar Roberts reported. It's kind of crazy that we couldn't sell lemonade, said Cassidy Dixon, 14. It was fun, but we had to listen to the cops and shut it down. The stand had been operated just one day when the city's police chief and deputy drove by and spotted it. Police Chief Kelly Morningstar said it was simply a matter of enforcing the law. Quote, we were not aware of how the lemonade was made, who made the lemonade, of what the lemonade was made, so we acted according to the city ordinance, she said. We had told them, we understand you guys are young, but still, you're breaking the law, and we can't let you do that anymore. The law is the law. We have to be consistent with how we enforce the, uh, Chief, what's your face? You have all kinds of discretion. I've been in law enforcement. Not as a cop, I admit. If three little girls trying to earn a few bucks, this is the American way. Who the hell didn't have a lemonade stand when they were a kid? And they're not digging through mommy's purse or daddy's wallet, stealing money to go off to the water park. They're trying to earn it the old-fashioned way. It's a good life lesson. So now their life lesson is what? Make sure you have your permits. Make sure you have your certificates. You know, make sure you have the contents of the lemonade, the calories, any trans fat in that lemonade. Hmm? What about nicotine? Any of that in the lemonade? you got to be kidding me. Here's what you should have done, Chief. You should have drove up, give him a quarter for a cup of lemonade, said thank you, and drove off. Nobody would have cared. I would say to the folks in Midway, Georgia, you can cut your budget. By one moronic police chief. There's a lot of cops out there who would handle it a very different way. Smile, pat on the head, and then move along. But not you. Not you, Morningstar. Is that her name? Yes, Morningstar. Chief Morningstar. Not you. No, you're at the ready. Pistol loaded. Billy Club on the hip. On the lookout for lemonade stands. Unfortunately, this is illustrative. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not an exception. It's more the rule. We talked about this many months ago. We now have a rule coming out of the Agriculture Department on bake sales and pizza parties on school property to fund school events, such as whatever, plays and different assemblies and, you know, raising money for football teams and such, have to meet some certain very important nutritional standards. Yeah, pizza and cupcakes have to meet nutritional standards, right? Boy, I tell you what. I feel sorry for kids in this country. I really do. No, they don't have it as hard as many of us used to have it, or some of you had it. I didn't have it that hard, but you know what I mean. But the America we had doesn't exist anymore. The America we had doesn't exist anymore. During the holidays, you're not going to find a cross or a manger scene on courthouse property anymore, or Star David, and so forth. Gone. You're not going to be able to have these bake sales to help boost the football team or, you know, help pay for a play or help purchase something for the school because now that's regulated by the federal government. Who would have thought? Even the kind of cars you drive. These American traditions, American culture being regulated out of existence. To have a police chief in a small town of 1,100 people chase off these three kids who are trying to earn an honest buck with a lemonade stand to go to a water park in Savannah, Georgia. Well, that water park gave them free tickets. Once again, the private sector comes in and cleans up. So uh, lemonade stands, unless you have 50 bucks a day to cough up, are illegal in the town of Midway, for those of you considering living there, moving there. It's even reached little towns like Midway, Georgia. Gone are the lemonade stands. 
And this has gone on all over the country. How many times have we seen stories where people are cooking food in their homes to bring to the homeless? In these towns, where, where you don't have an ordinance, you, you can't, you, you know, you got you got to have a, you got to have a license. You're providing food to the public. These are all these efforts underway at the local, state, and federal level to destroy our humanity. So we become reliant on and independent on government at every step. So now, little kids in Midway, Georgia, who want to open a lemonade stand, unless their parents cost, cough up 50 bucks, because obviously they're trying to do the lemonade stand in order to make money, uh, there will be no more lemonade stands in Midway, Georgia. Gone. Gone. And one day, the pizza parties and the bake sales at public schools to raise money, not through property taxes and the taxpayers all the time, but kids earnestly trying to do things to make a buck for their school, that's going to be gone too. And whatever you do, don't go into the school and think you're going to get a Snickers bar or a Milky Way bar or a Hershey bar in the vending machine. That'll be gone too. Instead, you'll get granola. Granola bars and other crap. 